There's nothing wrong with honest toil, you know. If you're thrifty, you might be able to save enough money so that someday, when the right girl comes along, you can settle down and get married. When you do get married, I hope you'll be very happy. Here's a question from a fellow called Snooky Haddinson, and he wants to know which is the correct form of induction or introductions. Bill, I want you, uh, I want for you to meet Alice Finch, or Bill, I'd like for you to meet Alice Finch. Either of the forms that you suggest are perfectly understandable. However, if it is Alice who wants to meet Bill, then you should reverse the positions and put her name first, like this. Alice Finch, I want for you to meet Bill. Or, Alice Finch, I'd like for you to meet Bill. Sometimes, and this happens more often than you think, a man's wife will use him as a go-between in her matchmaking activities. If this is a part of your present problem, and you'd like to stay in the clear and not stick your neck out too far, then you can say, Bill, my wife wants for you to meet Alice Finch. Or, Alice Finch, my wife would like for you to meet Bill. This latter statement is a little far-fetched and quite difficult to believe, because most wives who take an active interest in matchmaking aren't particularly interested in having their unmarried friends meet men who don't even give their last names. If you will want to avoid trouble, you will refuse to introduce Bill to anybody, at least until you find out more about him. He sounds shifty to me. Let him find his own girlfriends among his own kind. And above all, watch out he doesn't try to get you to cash a check for him. Next question, please. We have one more question, Mr. Answer Man, and it goes something like this. Don't you think the expression, borrow me a dollar, is a trifle confusing? And this is signed, Olin Trump. I certainly do. And that concludes tonight's visit with the Answer Man. But the Geyser of Facts will be back again tomorrow answering questions that you, the radio audience, sends in. Slam, bam, that's the way I felt for you. Slam, bam, bam, there was nothing I could do. But, mister, you can sure taste it. Mmm, brother, and what a smooth, satisfying taste. I'm talking about the flavor of Schaefer beer, of course. The beer that's brewed for flavor. Matchless flavor that's light, lively, appetizing. And flavor, you know, is the one difference in beers today that really matters. I'm telling you, when you flip the cap off a cool bottle of Schaefer and watch that gleaming, bubbling golden brew cascade into the glass, topping itself with a snowy cap of creamy foam, it really sets your mouth a-watering. And then when you taste it, hmm, nothing better. It's pure pleasure. First chance you get, try a glass of Schaefer. I know you're going to agree with me. Schaefer is real beer, beer at its best. Remember, for real enjoyment, pour yourself a refreshing glass of real beer. Schaefer beer. Bop, 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 do beep, beep. It's Schaefer, da, 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 da. It's real beer. Uh, it must have ran out of trombone players. I don't know. Something must have Stopped happened. using that, I guess. Well, you had a chance to star. We yeah. didn't send the guy from the agency down to do it tonight. So you had your chance, and you certainly muffed it. I'll yeah. tell you. So that means tomorrow night, I do it, buddy. Okay. I made myself thirsty if I... Didn't appeal to anybody else. I tried to give you the sound effects and everything. It was yeah. very good. Do you like it? I, I enjoyed that very much. Thank you. Margaret Whiting sings, I kiss you a million times. I kiss you a million times. When you're not near me All through the night and day I'm loving you I kiss you a million times Though you 
I close my eyes and dream that we're really not apart. But near or far, you're always in my heart. I kiss you a million times, and though. Times I say, please love me too. But near or far, you're.